Yep, there's one, six. two, three, no, four. No, uh, seven, <laughs> seven, seven, because uh, Jacques. Yeah, yeah, Jacques, there's seven. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, mm -hmm. five. Okay, yeah, no, you're The Sinister Seven. The amazing We're seven. Gonna get... Oh, something I was thinking about, because I... Cause yeah, I was talking about like Pixar back in their prime, back when like literally every movie they released was a good movie. Now to the days it's hit or miss, but um, like there are still good Pixar films. Do not get me wrong. I don't want to be like, oh, back then they were so much better. Cause there's still great modern Pixar films. Um, just an example, uh, Inside Out, fantastic film. Inside Out, we might we might actually have to react. I have not seen Inside Out since I was first. My friend begged me. And remember, this isn't Inside Out came out in the time where I was really just enfranchised. I was disenfranchised with Pixar because <laughs> fucking Frozen and Frozen Two. But so I didn't want. So I, so I slept. I slept heavily on um, Inside Out. My friend begged me. He's like, "Dude, you're gonna like this movie." I was like, "I'm not gonna like this movie. You're gonna like this movie." Anything after fucking Frozen, mm -hmm. I, I just. But I sat down. I had very low expectations, and I looked at my friend at the end. I was like. Okay, <laughs> you win. You uh, got me. It's, oh, it's great. It's an great. Another great ass one, uh, Coco. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Coco. Ooh, uh, another one. one. Sure. Uh, what well, we like again, I never guys, watched if Coco. You, uh, if you guys have, any <gasps> well, I know we have to react to sometime down the road. Maybe, we'll, maybe again, it's up to you guys, the viewers, if you want us to react to some more um, Pixar, Disney films. Um, you know what to do. You gotta you, let us know on the Patreon. Comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. Um. What I got going next is probably Wally. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna get that out the way soon. Um, but yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like doing movie reactions with a. With, we're gonna like I'm gonna like rotate and do these like uh, groups of friends. So like we'll rotate in and out um, okay. certain things. But yeah, it should be fun. And we should probably I'll probably like I have to edit this in a way where it's gonna be fine on YouTube because you know how YouTube is. But I should be I might put like maybe like ten minutes of our reaction on YouTube. And All right, by the way, um, so I looked it up, and yes, I was correct. Cars 2 is what killed the Pixar renaissance, because you before Cars... You are not gonna let it go! No! no! Oh my I mean, god, you do what the, the whale said and let it go. <laughs> but no, like, because yeah, before Cars 2, it was just hit after hit after hit. Because you want to know what came out before... What was the last hit for Cars 2? Before Cars 2? Yeah. Toy Story 3. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Up. <laughs> Wally. Okay. Ratatouille, okay. Cars, The Incredibles, okay. Finding Nemo, okay. Monsters Inc., okay. Toy Story all right, 2. All right, we get it, you asshole, we get it! <laughs> you win! You win! <laughs> Are you happy? You wanna push Oh this boy, down? what do I win? An ass kicking, that's what you get. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fine! Fine! <laughs> You, we get uh, don't, it. Don't give me Cars, she was up, a bus. Up in my opinion, God, God damn, up at. I up fighting, you're making me cry. I thought Fighting Nemo had a sad, uh, one of the saddest openings. God damn, up, just it up the ante, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. <laughs> dude, you could, dude, you could literally take the first ten minutes of that film and make it its own little movie. We all knew it really is its own little movie. Actually, you didn't need to because it was already its own little thing. And I then, know, but and just then the second so... part was just, was just, I was watching two movies in one. God dang it. I was watching two movies in one. And, and it, 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 together, it just makes such a... That's also another one of my top five. Up is, Up's not my top five, but it's in my top ten. Um, it's in my top ten. Uh, it, like there, I, I kind of struggle with myself at times when I, when I look at it contextually. Because I think the movie kind of... It kind of loses it for me, like in the... Uh, like the third part of it the first part phenomenal second part's really good third part's kind of i, I, I kind of got a loss on it it's not bad or anything i just think it was weaker than the uh definitely weaker than the first two uh uh parts um hmm. where i like a little bit more my movies to be a bit more complete for me but no up is still top 10 up is still great i am definitely gonna have to react to it at some point um like um to the i can't toy story films i'll be going through one two and three i'm not going through four because fuck four sorry not gonna do it guys i thought you said four was good four is good if you didn't watch the first three i hate huh? the, the ending i hate the ending um i'll tell you two this way if you enjoyed one two and three you're not gonna like the ending to four especially uh if you saw three you're just not it's it's a totally different thing like if you watch it on its own it's actually pretty good like if I consider if it a spinoff and not a no, it's not a spinoff. It's supposed to be directly linked to the other three, and that's what pisses me off with four. 
I get. I, I'd say watch four on your own, and you tell me. But you're really not gonna like the ending. The ending is just. The ending is kind of. It might be a spit in the face to the to the third film. But whatever. Um, I do feel like I am kind of wondering, like if I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna come back. I don't know what you're talking about, a bridge. Probably, I liked you it. Probably, you probably. You know, honestly, knowing you, you probably might feel that way at first, but honestly, you're probably not going. To. And then a bridge is just gonna be like the betrayal. I mean, if you're okay with characters being rewritten in a certain way and other characters separating after all the bonds uh, they've been through, that's fine. <laughs> um, but uh, Luca is definitely has nothing to get my life. I thought Luca should. I wish Luca would have been given more time. I think it's beautifully animated. I thought Luca was uh, beautifully animated. I was pleasantly surprised by Luca. Um, I hope they do a sequel and they give it more time. Luca is Luca is another movie I have not seen yet. I I, I haven't. I will say it's actually like animation wise, it is just man, man. I actually great. haven't seen. Uh, I haven't seen Luca either. Storyline wise, is actually pretty solid. The story is solid. The story is actually pretty solid. <laughs> it it would have benefited from more time. You know how I said like the character development in this movie was so good and so subtle. There is good character development throughout the film, but there are times where like like certain like bonds are are rushed like certain things are rushed and it, it kind of hurts the time for me all right all right quick quick thing quick thing i want to do yeah okay so we can all agree like the movies before car twos each one before cars two was like a classic okay i'm curious what your guys thoughts are on everything after cars two so after cars two well, you which said inside cars... out was great inside out was great right okay what about brave um i never saw brave really yeah. Um, hey. I actually didn't finish Brave. All right, uh, Monster University. Meh. All right, and then Inside mm. Out. That was Inside a great was, one. That, that was that was like the outlier. That was like the outlier. Okay, okay. <laughs> now we're getting back on track. It's like it's like Inside Out was like <laughs> we're getting back on track. <laughs> and, and then there was the Good Dinosaur. Never seen. Oh it. my god. Never saw it. <laughs> Nope. And, and then after uh, the good dinosaur, we got Finding Dory. Uh, a decent sequel, but does not is not as good as uh, the original. All right, I've never seen it. And, and, and I said, decent Finding Dory would have benefited if it wasn't made in that era. If it was just made like two years after the original, we mm -hmm. had like the original. Uh, Cars three. A hell of a lot better than two. <laughs> yeah. That's not a high bar. Yeah, I don't think it's better than Cars 1, but it's a hell of a lot better than 2. All right. Coco? Yeah. Um, that was a great film. I'm not going to call it a classic it. film, but a very unique, great film. Highly, oh, yeah. I definitely recommend it. Incredibles 2. Um, A good sequel, but it suffers just like Finding Dory. No, like, let, 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 this is the problem, like, contextually. Everything that they did with... um. <laughs> And, and the first one from its villain, the story ultimately played into the film. Syndrome played into the past of Mr. Incredible. How they just did a 180 on, on Helen's character was kind of like, you know, her thing was she, she goes from she, all she cares about is her family, right? But now she's going to be this, uh, this um, face of, you know, the heroes that, when she didn't even want it to begin with. Fine. If you want, mm. I, I was all for Helen getting more screen time, but there was nothing there. No danger ever, at no point in time that I ever felt like she was ever in danger. What screensaver compared to say, get the, nothing? Mm -hmm. I love the I love the Jack Jack stuff. I love all that stuff. But and why is Dash is algebra? That's all <laughs> Dash was was algebra. Uh, Violet was <laughs> great. <laughs> Violet was great. Like it, it, the movie's so up and down with me. It's crazy. Like, okay. like what if Helen like was like having struggle? Like she remember she cares about her family so much. But it's like remember that call she got from from uh, from uh, Dash. While she's in the middle, oh, maybe she, maybe it's gonna cost her. Nope, the phone call meant nothing. Nope, there was no danger at all, and it's just like, okay. So the movie is has great moments, funny moments, but it has nothing significant that makes me say, wow. From its villainy to just everything, it's a good yeah. sequel, but it's not a great sequel, is what I'm saying. Mm. And that's a shame. I got I love I love Helen. I was actually all for Helen, like doing that. I just they just needed something more, like Bob and Jack Jack. That was great. Again, the movie had great things in it, but it's so up and down for me. Okay, there is one positive about Incredibles too. What? Um, dead ass. I mean, we already. I mean, that. Helen and we, we Incredibles. Had, we, we had that Incredibles one. I mean, and it was much better because she got to check herself out. I, I don't know. She was pretty sexy in two. I'm I not gonna no, lie. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. 
better shots than one. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, thought Bob was. I thought Bob talked her into doing it though. No, they they Bob, like she was all like she was hesitant for it. What I'm saying is, it's not the fact that she got the job. It's the fact that they didn't have any consequences for her. Like you know, I, I'll give you a prime mm. example: the scene where Syndrome is about to blow up the plane, and you get this really dark sense of like, how are they going to survive this? That was a really dark scene. And mm. this this sense of just like Bob can't do it. Remember, what I loved about Bob's character is that he can do all this and that. He can bench press, train. <laughs> but when it comes to just handling simple things like his job, he blows up, right? <laughs> or, you know, or he can, you know, save somebody from a building, but he can't handle getting sued because the guy wanted to die. St or like Syndrome mm -hmm. being the ultimate culmination of his past coming back to haunt him. <laughs> like things, that was... consequences, uh, of being a superhero and, uh, and having to deal with that life. Helen never got any of that. Like like I always said, Helen put her family first. That was her main core of her character in the first film. But in this film, it's just, she's the hero. She's doing this. There's like no internal struggles with her like Bob did. And I really wanted that for her character. I wanted her to have like, maybe like she's torn between her her life as a hero, like being the face of this, you know, this, this revamp and wanting to go back to being a mom. We never got that. And that, felt like I hear that what was a complete one eighty of her character. She, like, hell, yeah. think about it, she would have never been like that in the first film. My girl was a mother yeah. and a badass one at that. <laughs> but I she got, literally yelled at Bob and was like, "It's not about you." But remember, they even poke fun at that. Hey, remember I criticized my husband for doing this? Now I'm doing it. I'm such a hypocrite. That doesn't <laughs> make it right. That's still, even though you're poking fun at it, that's kind of the crux of why this movie's kind of fa fails for me a little bit. It's like you criticize Bob for it, but now you're doing it in the second film. See what I mean? Mm. And why is Dash? Again, Dash was so underutilized in that film. Violet got more character development, but not Dash. He's just <laughs> algebra kid now. <laughs> Man. Also, I, can we talk about the fact that Jack Jack is a demon and that he's Jack probably Jack going to be the main. Awesome. And Jack Jack he, and, um, um, He's and probably going to be the main villain of Incredibles 3. No, he's not. But Jack Jack and. Um, and um, come on. Um, you know the name, um, the, the, their designer. Um, um, Edna. Edna, oh, Edna. 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 That was good. I love Edna and Jack Jack. That it felt, it felt natural. It was <laughs> funny. Um, again, the film is very up and down. Um, I love how we're, we're this is a Finding Nemo review when we're talking about Incredibles. <laughs> I, but overall, guys, um, maybe we'll go through Incredibles again, one and two. Um. Maybe we'll do that. But yeah, guys, we're going to uh, sign off here. Thank you so much. And again, um, we'll see you when we do another movie reaction. Movie night. Uh, say Later. Go say goodbye, guys. Bye. Later. Oh, dear God, another movie night. <laughs>